Hey guys. So, how are you guys doing today? I decided to do something a little different. I know you always send me a lounge clothes and stuff, but when I'm not sick, I try to look decent, right? So, this is what I got for now. Don't like the way my arms look, but I'm gonna get those dumbbells uh, in a minute. Uh, not right now, but I'm gonna do some yoga to, to kind of like make sure that things go down smoothly, right? Um, so, but I decided that, you know, when you look better, you feel better. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna get up and I'm going to look presentable, right? Because I know I've been living a hot mess. And I just want to come on here to say thank you, thank you, thank you guys for subscribing. I'm at 145 subscribers. Just yesterday, it was 137. So I think it's like eight subscribers uh, or something like that. <sighs> My math ain't mad right now, y'all. That I have uh, gained, I think it's 835. I think it's like that or whatever, but excuse me, I had some watermelon <clears throat> and I drank it because I was starving. But you know, watermelon helps with watermelon helps with inflammation or whatever. So I'm just trying to get as much nutrients and trying to uninflame this and just trying to eat the foods that will help to relax it and uninflame it to where I can eat solids or whatever. So I have lost weight, but not, I have lost a lot of weight, but it doesn't look that bad. So this little jumpsuit right here though, I love this little jumpsuit. It is so comfortable. Another thing with uh, esophagitis and GERD is that you shouldn't really be wearing anything really tight. Yeah, and I can't. It's like only going to constrict things or whatever, but this is so comfortable. It's loose, it's comfortable. You feel like having pajamas on, which is not wearing pajamas. And the other video that I did yesterday, I threw all of my hair weave out. All of, not the hair weave, but the braiding hair. The cankalon uh, braiding hair, conicalon, however you pronounce it. I threw that out, right? Because it's no good for us. So this is human hair. So I just had my ponytail and I just wrapped it around. And I didn't even really do a good job, but... It's okay, you know, it, it's going to serve what it's supposed to serve, but I look decent, you know, I, I want to look decent. Um, and the more and more that I do things to encourage myself and my strength or whatever to nourish my body, uh, that's going to help along with the process because it definitely is a process. This takes up to like six to eight weeks to cure, you know, for your esophagus. And this is so important. So I have to make sure that, um, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, right? So, <clears throat> I'm going to do the exercises and all of that to stretch it. So, I have to take really small amounts. And even though I be thinking that I want to take big amounts, I end up suffering afterwards. So, <clears throat> that was probably too much watermelon that I had. Little pieces. So, I may just, from time to time, just take the watermelon and just, you know, suck on that until it gets better. I'm just trying to get the inflammation out. But yeah, uh, I just love it. It's really cute. It's so comfortable. And I have these little shoes on <clears throat> that the, uh, the Crisis Nursery gave me. You know, they do giveaways and they gave me these. We were hosting an event and they was, Diane would always be, go make sure you get some for yourself. You know, get some for yourself. And I'm like, I had a lot of shoes. I don't need anything else, but she insisted. so. These are comfortable. Instead of wearing those Crocs all the time, these right here are truly comfortable because they do have a little cushion, a little heel on them. They're not as flat as most sandals, but I don't know if y'all can see them, but they're not as flat. It's, they're a little too big, but it's okay. My feet are narrow, but I, I think these are probably one, maybe one of my go-to sandals. So <clears throat> that's what I'm gonna do. So later on, I am going to do a meal prep. I'm going to do my meal preps. And I'm going to freeze my food. Because I'm not going to waste all of this food that I just bought. 
in this refrigerator. I'm going to freeze it. So when I can eat, I can eat everything that I, I, I bought and I can prepare it and all of that. So just please keep me in your prayers. Say a prayer for me, please. Because this is a journey. We're not even on week one. We're on week, we're on day four. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. We're on day four. Saturday it'll be a week. So this is pretty good considering, you know, it's only day four. So just keep me in your prayers and uh, continue to subscribe, guys. Uh, if you guys have dealt with esophagitis before, and hiatal hernia because I'm just trying to find as much information as I can about it because the doctors are not really giving me any information about it. They say, like, you know, you probably have to have a surgery. My grandmother had one. So I was born like this. My grandmother had one and she didn't go and get it treated. And so she had to have a colostrum bag on her when she got older. And that's not something that I'm wanting to do. So uh, I've been insisting on what are you all going to do with it? And they was like, if it doesn't bother you, we're not going to bother it. That's not enough. So I've been on YouTube and I've been searching to try to see exercises and how to get rid of it. Some claim that they've gotten rid of it for, you know, forever. It's like a bulge in your, in your stomach. So it's making the acid from your esophagus, it's pushing it back up. It's supposed to come down, right? So it can digest because that acid in your stomach, the, um, it's like high, 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 what is it? Uh, I can't even think of it. It's high. I can't think of the name of, but it's like battery acid, right? So just imagine it just keep coming in your esophagus and erosion, erosion, making it erosive, right? So thank God there's no cancer cells or anything because they always do a biopsy to see. It's just, it takes a long time. So you got to avoid certain foods. And what I'm going to do and what I want to do is expensive, but I think it'll help me out a lot in the long run. So go and get a blood test and it's a, a sensitivity test to see what type of foods and stuff like that if you're allergic to. Insurance does not pay for it. It's like $500, I think. Insurance does not pay for it. So you go and it tells you everything that you're, you know, uh, uh, intolerant to and all of that. And I think it's worth the money so you can avoid those foods. So you won't keep on having these episode, episodes. So that's where I'm at at this point. If you all have any more information, please comment down below, share the information. Um, like I said, day four, it's not even been a week. We're doing better. So I'm gonna do this meal prep and I'm just praying to God that there's nothing else serious going on. You know, I just do remember like the last time I had it done, it took like two weeks in order for me to be able to eat solid food again. Cause I was just doing the insure uh, apple and the insure, you know. So I'm not concerned about the weight too much because I'll gain it back. You drink Insure Plus, and I'm gonna tell you, you get you get it back. You get it back plus some. So this is summertime, y'all. I'm not worried about it, but I'm gonna do other things. They say swimming helps, so I'm gonna just do everything that I can't do to try to incorporate it. But throughout that journey, I'm gonna try to look nice. Am I gonna look nice every day? No, I'm not. I am not. Am I gonna feel good every day? No, I'm not. But I'm willing to get up and at least try, right? So if you are going through something, if you're looking at this video and you are going through it like myself. Please reach out. It's so good to have a support system. Reach out. Let me know some of the tricks and things that you do in order to help with yours. Maybe it's, I know it has to do with vitamins because I do have a vitamin deficiencies. But it's hard to intake that with a pill. So right now I'm looking for supplements like vitamin C and vitamin E. If you all know of some that has nothing but that in there, please reach out to me and let me know. Because that will help, you know, your body needs all of the vitamins. And I am deficient because I don't eat meat. But y'all, let me tell y'all something. I was so hungry yesterday because I have not lost my appetite. I was so hungry yesterday. I was on TikTok, baby. And they had, I don't know how I got on this. I think it was the girl with the puffs. And she be cooking. She's light-skinned. <clears throat> and she be cooking for her husband. And she be like, she put her... What she say? Her ankle into the food. I can't think of her name, but she she cooked right, and the food was looking so good. I I caught myself sitting there watching them eat, and then it went all over to other people and eating, and then it went over to be love. And I'm like, and I don't even eat chicken, but you know that's my that was my downfall. Chicken and turkey. 
I was wanting a piece of chicken. It was crunch, it was so crunchy and good. Oh my God, I was like, like I wanted to crunch it. And so I can see why people can get addicted. Cause I'm like, how are you gonna sit up there and watch people eat when you're hungry and you're going through something, you can watch people eat and she's smacking and stuff. I'm like, oh my gosh. So that's my rant. But anywho, uh, like I said, uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate you guys that have subscribed. I'm at 145 subscribers now. I started this in February, so I'm thankful. I'm grateful. I appreciate you. I love you all so much. And please feel free to leave comments. I like to be interactive with my subscribers. It is something that flew in my house, y'all. Some little thing. I'm going to get it, though. I'm going to get it. I don't know where it just went, but I seen it out the corner of my eye. But <clears throat> I thank you all so much. I appreciate all of you all. And like I said, don't, please comment. I want to engage with you guys or whatever, because you, I can learn a lot from you as well. Not only you learn, it's not a one-way thing. It's a two-way thing here. So we are family. You know, we are family here, and we can discuss it. We can talk about it. So if you haven't already subscribed, hit that thumbs up button, that like button. Subscribe to Life and with Stacy C. It is free, guys. And until next time, take care of yourself. Until then.